Tuesday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We are here. We are here to learn and to grow together. We are in business by ourselves or for ourselves, but not by ourselves. We've got this whole team to help us grow. So let's pass it over to Catherine. She's going to tell us what we need to know this week, I think. Hey, guys. How everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing okay. Um, we are. We have a, quite a few things. Um, we already started off this April with a bang with the 22 Minute Hard Corps Challenge Group, which so far so good. We've been using the um, My Challenge Tracker, which does an app you can download to your phone for free, and you can keep track of your shakeos, your shakeologies. I call them shakeos, and your workouts, your measurements. It keeps you track and everything, sort of like Facebook, but without the distraction. So I, I actually like it. Um, so today was size night. I personally did not make it, but I know somebody made it, which I was trying to, like, meet up and just say hi, and that was Becky. <laughs> she made it on the day that I didn't, but that's okay. Um, and let's see, we have um, we have size once a month, um, and this time is scheduled for, it's basically the first Tuesday of every month. So today was the first Tuesday. Tuesday of April and then the following in May and in June so that that will be and then we have our meetings every Tuesday at 9 p.m. and um, we just had our super Saturday which a lot of us really enjoyed and got a lot of awesome tips from um, coaches and people who have already um, found success in this business but a lot of us did go different places um, as far as right now, I don't have it. We do have a sneak peek. Normally, we have a sneak peek or a webinar towards the end of the month. I don't have my calendar with me um, yet, but um, you can also team up or stay connected with Team Radiant page, and you will have all the info there. You can see the calendar there, too, so everything is there. We're also starting um, to post our trackers on Team Radiant. That way, for those of you who would just hop in on and start getting into this whole um, you know, tracking, you get an idea at least of what it is that we're doing, how we're tracking, how we're following up, how we're forming. So that's another thing. Um, and as far as another thing, that's good. I think I should pass it back to James or Kimberly. Am I missing anything? Uh, challenge pack specials, what we have on this month is Master's Hammer and Chisel, 160, yeah. and then they have a bunch of other little... And anybody else? Um, we have the club membership. We have club membership with the Shakeology, the Challenge Pack. We have Hammer and Chisel, um, and then the, and the Kickstart. Kickstart this um, month, I think, it's also going on sale. Kimberly, it looks like she knows exactly. And T25, Focus T25 is on special. It's 160 as well. They uh, made it live as of this evening, so... Um, it's in your coach online office under news. If you look there, um, that just came out. So that's a good one to be on sale because 25 minute workouts, it's, it's excellent. And it's a great program for strengthening your core, especially. Um, I've got a great testimonial about that. So yeah, awesome program. We actually also have 75% going on, I believe, right now with um, all beach body apparels. I just saw that. So if anyone's interested, you can always look and look into that. Awesome. Um, Kimberly, did you have anything else you want to talk about with the, the morning Monday, Monday call? or? Yeah, definitely. We can talk about the National Wake Up Call. National Wake Up Call is every Monday morning at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Make it a non-negotiable in your business, even if you think it's a topic that doesn't pertain to you. Um, it does. Listen and find some of those golden nuggets in those calls because they are really good. So this week was talking about engaging conversations and how to have those engaging conversations. And she gave several tips for how to have those conversations. So I wanted to kind of share a couple of things, a couple of things that I pulled out with you. So first of all, she said, be a human. Don't have scripted conversations. People can see through scripted conversations. They don't want to be talked to through a script. They want you to talk to them. So how do you do that? And this is kind of something we've alluded to on a, a past couple of calls. James was out of town when we talked about it. Um, but we talked about developing a question bank. 
a bank of questions that you can ask in a variety of different situations so you always have a question that you can pull out and ask you're not selling you're asking questions you're pulling out needs and then you're showing people how Beachbody can meet those needs our products the coaching opportunity can meet just about any need out there if you ask the right questions you can find the need and show people how this opportunity or these products can serve them so she did give four examples of questions on the call uh, one was for meeting someone and building rapport you might ask I saw you drive uh, a Honda how do you like it or I see you wear these specific types of shoes how do you like it I uh, like them asking finding something that you're both interested in and asking that open-ended question she really focused a lot on asking open-ended questions because if you ask a yes or no question you're gonna be shut down somebody will answer yes or no end of conversation where if you ask an open-ended question where people have to engage with you, it will keep the conversation going and allow you to ask another question. Um, uh, if you've got somebody who's interested in a challenge pack, another question she said was, share with me what's worked with you in the past and why it doesn't work any longer. This gauges someone's interest shows you what they like and what works for them and also shows you their problems or those points where you can bring out well I liked going to the gym but I had kids and I just don't have time to go to the gym anymore well we've got workouts hey our shortest one is 22 minutes a day look at this program that we've got you can meet a need through that question and through that that line of conversation um, and then asking and this is a good one that um, we ask a lot I use this one um, you can use it in a variety of situations but would you be open to learning more people want to seem open they don't want to be closed so if you ask that question would you be open to learning more people are very likely to say yes I'm open to learning more or tell me more and you get a lot of yeses that way so you can present products and the business opportunity by using that question you have somebody who's interested in the business opportunity I thought this question was gold um, she said uh, tell me more about your current job and how does it compare to your ideal job and that question gets them thinking about what they do how it compares to what they would love to do their ideal and if you compare that go back to GoPro and the first chapter or first couple chapters of GoPro where he talks about why network marketing is so much better than any other opportunity you've got a great conversation that you can have with someone about the network marketing opportunity so um, the great questions that she asked. So as you're thinking about these questions, start compiling your own database of questions that you can pull out in a variety of different situations to ask people. Um, and it will help you to have those conversations, to be more engaging. And remember, once you ask a question, shut your mouth and listen. Let people respond, don't interrupt let them talk to you and tell you their problems and their needs because by the time you you start talking they've already sold themselves on what you've already got and that's all I've got for you today awesome thank you very much that was that was great tips and then just to follow up with that is when you ask questions listen to the answers Andrea just got somebody from Jamberry that that asked her um, something about her nails and then Andrea answered and then she just kind of like totally just puked on her and didn't even listen to what Andrea said and I was like because Andrea's like I would actually be interested in something but you totally did it wrong but um, so awesome guys so before we open it up to Ray, to, to Ray and Steph um, they are our friends we've been on multiple trips together with them they are a little amazing family couple um, they're just killing it and uh, in different social media ways and, and staff actually I don't know what her numbers are on, on a snapchat but she's doing she's doing some amazing things but really quickly a friend of mine David um, I called him up yesterday and him and I play basketball a lot together he's a coach and he is a he's a he's at coach level and he has some big goals him and his wife um, Catherine so 
So I asked him yesterday, I said, hey, are you going to come play basketball with me? And he's like, no. And I'm like, oh. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys, I'm going to let him tell his story about this, and then we're going to get into Ray and, and stuff. So, David, it's all yours, buddy. Basically, about two weeks ago, um, I can't remember who it was that posted something about Eric Worre, and he talked about setting goals, but one thing that we never do is set consequences for, for not meeting those goals. So what I did was, since I've wasted so much time already in the business and not get, it got to the rank where I need to, you know, one of the things I love to do besides basketball, and some of you guys know this, I'm a break dancer, I'm a, I'm a b-boy. So I love practicing on Fridays. So what I did was I told myself that I will not allow myself to go practice or go play basketball. I have that free rec time until I hit the designated uh, rank that I want to get, which is Emerald. It's my, next, it's my next rank that I'm supposed to get. So until then, and it hurts me because I love practicing. I love going on my Friday night, spinning on my head, leaving my skin on the floor. It's what I love to do. So because I'm not where I want to be, I had to kind of ground myself. And, you know, that kind of is giving me that push so that I can hurry up and get to my rank so I can go practice again and have my free time. So basically, um, I mean, that was awesome. Because, I, I mean, I wasn't something I prompted them to do or anything. But that's, that's basically just self-discipline. And honestly, guys, anybody who's, who's, who's doing it in this business, anybody who's making it really happen, that's what they have is self-discipline. Um, we were talking to some coaches tonight, or some, yeah, some other coaches tonight, and we are just kind of talking to them about the opportunity and, and how amazing it is. But at the same time, this, this, this is a business. And most business, 98% of businesses fail. And like those are, you don't want to, you don't want to say that, you don't want to think that, but that's the, that's the honest truth. So, you know, I think that if we, you know, sometimes if we paint this picture that it's so easy that it's just going to happen, I think that's kind of a, a disservice. But if we can actually tell them, this is a business, this is the opportunity, this is what can happen. It just depends on what you do, and if, if you're gonna if you're gonna stay with it. So that's a. Uh, you know, so David, that was awesome. Setting those, you know, self disciplines. I think Eric Worre talked about it, like something about a sports fan, and you, if you didn't do it, you'd have to post like your most hated team or something on your Facebook wall and make your profile and everything. Something like that. That was like, no, I would never do that, right? But that's a great thing to say. That's just holding yourself to the fire and saying, this is what I want, so I actually have to do what I want. So, all right, guys. With that being said, I'm gonna open this up to uh, Steph and Ray. They're just going to give a little bit well, – last week we kind of hit some of the basics on, on Snapchat, and, and I gave some stats on how big Snapchat's becoming and, and how Snapchat is more like the behind-the-scenes um, where Facebook and Instagram are more like, uh, you know, your, are kind of like your, your highlight reel, and Snapchat's like a, a day in the life. And, you know, people do business with people they, they like, know, and trust. So that's this is a, a a great a great tool to be able to build build those relationships with, with you know multiple people, letting them know more about who you are without you know just kind of like almost like that celebrity status of because you know, using uh, Snapchat. So guys, it's all yours. I'll unmute both of you. There you go. There he is. All right. Hey guys, good evening, and thank you for having us on your call. We're pretty excited, um, and shout out to our team who's tuning in. Um, and I love the way that y'all introduced the call. I mean, y'all had great energy. <laughs> I really love it. Catherine, you're like, all right, I'll be on, you know? <laughs> and she's just, like, committed. Um, I'm, and, and Kimberly, your energy, girl, is rocking. It's like, all right, it's, it's like 8 a.m., 8 a.m. type of energy. Um, so thank you for having us. I'm pretty excited to talk about Snapchat today. And, um, you know, I, I really, I, I was going to open it up for like Q&A um, from James or from anybody else on the team. And, you know, right now, I've, I've you know, if, if you have tuned in to Gary Vee, he's going to be our, um, our speaker at Summit this summer. And he is just hot right now on Snapchat. It's Gary Vaynerchuk or Vaynerchuk, um, and and so he is. That's where I've been receiving a lot of my training from him. He's he's very upfront. He keeps it real, and something about him just being himself kind of allows me 
me. Like it kind of gave me permission to keep it real with people um, and to yourself. You know, I think that's something that us as coaches, it's like we have to constantly tune into. Um, there's so much noise. You know, we, we mentioned earlier about a reason why we're moving to the, the challenge tracker app is because of the noise and the same thing um, in regards to building our business there is a noise and sometimes we just have to really put our blinders up and say what kind of value um, do I want to provide to um, you know to my audience did she freeze just to me or just to, to everybody did she freeze no, nah, she uh -oh. froze. Am I right? Uh oh. Yeah, can you can you rewind it about twenty seconds? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's about really being yourself. And am, am I okay? Am I happy? What is? Can I get some feedback? It's getting better. I'm good. Okay, thank you. Um, so, you know, really tuning into your personality and being totally okay with it. Um, and that's, that's something that Snapchat can provide. Um, I come, my, my background is in education. I was a bilingual teacher. Um, I've been coaching. This is my sixth year in coaching. Three years of the, three years of, of me being a coach was really, um, deciding whether or not I could actually be a coach. Um, I, I was very shy. I was very insecure. Um, I would see other coaches, um, specifically my, my husband, Ray, he was actually the one that became a coach and he can talk your ear out. Like he is confident. He's okay on stage. And so that was my perspective of what a coach was. And I'm like, no, I, I like crawl under the bed and hide if you had me speak in front of people. Um, and I was, I was, I was not comfortable in my own skin. And that's how I started as a coach. And that's what three years of coaching was for me. And so the, the best, one of the best things that I have acquired from coaching is being comfortable in my own skin and evolving into the person that God created me to be um, and knowing just tuning into what my strengths are and not worrying about what other people's strengths are. Um, so going, so that, that's kind of like a little background of, of me as a coach. Um, so the past few years has been, there's been a lot of growth for our team. We're both full-time coaches. Um, I'm no longer, we both stepped away from our professional careers. Um, and, and Beachbody is our full-time. Um, we've really gone through, we've really built a business in, in a way that is in alignment with the values that we set, with the life that, lifestyle we wanted to live. We traveled a lot. We lived in Alaska for, for four months. Um, we lived in California for a year and a half. And we're in Texas now, and that's that. That is the power of this business that you can align it to the type of lifestyle that you wish to be. If you want to make a six-figure income, then you're gonna, you know, you build your business in that way. If you just want time freedom and more time with your family, then you build your business this way. Um, and so, one of, you know, as coaches, we're constantly opening new chapters into our business. Um, we're constantly being practitioners and being open to trying new things in, in different platforms, not just sticking to what we know and what we're comfortable with. And so that is something that, that is how I want you to approach Snapchat. Um, and I'm sure that's something that you're, you're already looking at it as a practitioner um, to be able to grow and evolve and hit a, a different market. Right now, the numbers are banging for Snapchat right now. Um, it, out of, you know, on Facebook, from out of your friends, about 2% or 3% will actually see your post um, on a like page or on your personal page. Snapchat is at 90%. 90% of your friends on Snapchat will view your story. And the powerful thing about Snapchat is that it's, it's like James said, it's, a, it's a, basically a sneak peek into the life of a coach. And there are so many things that we do on a day to day that, you know, that will be so powerful to people. Um, and it really lets people get to know you, like you, and trust you. They see that you are a person. They see the reason why you are posting about this Shakeology all the time because you live it and breathe it every single day. And they get to see that. Um, I would say that since really going 
being um, getting more of a focus on Snapchat has given me a, a lot of turnovers. I've had people get this. I've had people that had I had been prospecting or had been following me for the past five years, and they are now turning over because they followed me on Snapchat and they said, "Wow, this is what you really meant." It's always been kind of vague. I'm like, what? I post on Facebook all the time. I try to really make it clear. And they're like, no, but, you know, they watch your Snap story and they get it. And they get it. Um, I've had 20 personally sponsored coaches enroll in 2016. I would say out of those 20, um, I would say I have about 11 that turned over um, thanks to Snapchat and the clarity that it provided them. I've had a lot more people enroll. Um, to be business builders. They see the simplicity of our business. They say, that's all it is. I can do it. I can do it. And that's the type of feedback that I've been getting from people. Um, it is an incredible platform to really, really reflect the simplicity, the awesomeness, <laughs> the greatness of our business. And they are getting it. Um, there's, and, and so the very first thing that I would that, that, you know, to ask yourself is what, what kind of value do I want to provide? You know, um, in everything that we do, it's providing content. So if I were to give you some action steps for Snapchat, it would be one, build an audience, get yourself out there, use the platforms that you're on right now. Um, if it's Facebook, then, share, you know, like James, he has his Snapchat as his profile picture. Um, do that. Uh, to say, hey, I'm trying to Snapchat thing out. I'm, 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 I'm I don't really know, what, you know, how to work it yet, but I'm giving it a try. Whatever you want to, whatever you want to do, get yourself out there. Get, some, get build an audience. A great thing to do to build an audience is, is create a killer Snapchat story. One of the things that I did, um, I really wanted to provide, um, you know, my, my objective is mind, body, soul. And that's what I really want to reflect on my Snapchat, mind, body, soul, right? Um, and so I, I, made, I created a video on body. Like people are constantly asking me, um, what do you eat? What, you know, I, I tuned into the questions that I typically get from people, and it's typically on nutrition. So I created a video of a grocery haul on Snapchat. I downloaded the snaps onto my phone, and I uploaded them in, on Facebook organically. And so I said, hey, I just, you know, follow me on Snapchat. You can tune into this grocery haul, uh, fitness tips, uh, grocery tips, whatever. You know, I, I, that, that, that was my, my, my reason. I gave them a reason why they, they should follow me. I've had, I had like 20 ads that day. And within like an hour um, or something like that, maybe even less. So um, create a killer snap story, upload it to Facebook and have them add you. So one, build an audience. Um, and then two, put out content of value. Ask yourself, what do I want to provide on Snapchat? Do I want it just to be, you know, funny and humorous? Um, do I really want to get people to know me? Um, do I really want to have it like a coach sneak peek? Um, ask yourself, well, what kind of content do you want to provide people? Um, that is, that, that's one of the most important things that you can do. Um, and you ask yourself if if I was on the end, you know, what kind of people would I follow? What are, and, and look for people. Add people that are big, are big on Snapchat. Add that Gary Vee. Add some of the other coaches. Is this something of interest to me? You know, what things capture your attention? And then the things that capture your attention provide that stuff on Snapchat. Because I follow people, I'm like, no, oh, you know, I want something of value. And so I, I tell that I give them tips um, on my workout. I have a fitness journal. You know, I get a cool water bottle so you can be inspired with water. You know, simple things that are, are great content for people. Um, so ask yourself, if I was on the other end, what would I want to get out of uh, someone who I'm, I'm following on Snapchat? And then provide that type of value to others. Um, so one, build an audience. Two, put out content of value. You know, decide what you want to put out. And then Pull, you know, and then give it to give it to the people there. Give it to the people. Um, and then second, don't be scared to ask. Don't be scared to ask. So um, 
you know, you're, you're giving content of value. It's a great way to promote your challenge groups. It's a great way to say, you know, show them what a challenge group is. And so when you're giving value to them, don't be afraid to ask um, for a return. You know, like, hey, go check out my Facebook timeline. Um, give, enter, if you have a blog, go, you know, go check out, you know, enter your blog, www.myblog.com. Um, I just shared a blog, you know, don't be afraid to ask for a turnover. If you're giving value, then find a way to leverage um, your website, leverage your challenge group, leverage your coaching. Um, and then lastly, be patient. Be patient. Um, and always understand that there has to be, um, the, your, the value that you're providing has to be greater than what you are asking for in, retur in return. Um, you are going to have, you're, you're going to, it's going to take time um, to build an audience. It's going to take time to build that trust. Um, and it's, it, it is going to take some time to, to pour out some value. Um, but the great thing about it is that Snapchat is very organically. You don't have to go out of your way to do something super cool so you can get a great snap story on it, right? This is your day to day. So it's what you are already doing organically. You're just letting people know what you are doing. Um, and above all, just remember that the, the numbers are growing on Snapchat. Um, and, and you know, do you have to be on it? You, you, you don't. Um, you know, I think social media is much like um, a pair of shoes. We technically only need one pair of shoes. Um, but who does? You know, you're not going to wear your pumps for your workout. Um, <laughs> And, and so you, it's okay to try different things. And, and, and above all, you know, evolve, be a practitioner and see if it works for you. Ask yourself, how can I use it um, to, for it to reflect what I, the goals that I have for my business. Um, and, and if I use it, you know, why, why not use it, give it a try and, and see what happens. That was awesome. That was a uh, great kind of so do you want to do some question and answer, or what are you guys feeling? And, and actually, is Ray on, on Snapchat or no? He what? is on Snapchat. I, I am on Snapchat, James, but Steph is on a whole nother level. That's why I haven't said much. I mean, goodness, y'all guys, you know, she was able to consolidate so much information right now. And if, if you were to see my Snapchat, I think, the, the most interesting I can make it is by following Steph and showing you how much she studies this. That's awesome. Hey, so what we'll do, um, just so that we can, you know, anybody that's new, whatever, let's, I'm going to post a picture. I did a screenshot. Um, and then in the comments, let's all put our snap code. That would be like step one. And let's follow each other so we can, or, or you know, Steph, you can follow her. Um, so you guys can see what she's doing. Obviously, we're all individuals. We're all building our business differently. We're all people. And that's the best part about this business is that you don't know what Steph does because people are going to relate to you and your world's like. Um, are you open to taking some questions, Stephanie? Yeah, for sure. Ask away. I try my best. All right, guys. Who's got hands up? Catherine, you're open. You're on. Okay, so I've been getting into um, Snapchat a lot, too. I'm just noticing, though, that, like, yesterday I will post something, and today I will post something else. And notice it keeps adding to the same story as yesterday. Is there a way to add a whole new story instead of having it attached to the one from yesterday? That's what I was trying to figure out because I, I noticed that people were – even though they already have viewed my story from yesterday, they will have to review it again and keep on tapping until they get to the one from today. Is that how it okay. works? Yeah, okay, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. Um, so how Snapchat works, it's, it's um, your story is at the very top, and then there's two other sections. So the middle section are the newest posts. So everything in that middle section, and if you go into your, you know, to view other people's story, the sections in the middle are the stories that you have not viewed yet. Once you view all the stories, it's going to go to the bottom, to that third section. So they will see your fresh Snapchat 
first. And once they are reviewed, they move on to the third section. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Because I was wondering, like, I don't want them tapping and be like, oh, <laughs> girls posting now. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they will be, they, your fresh new Snapchats will be at the top. Okay, awesome, <laughs> I get it. So, Catherine, it's like a 24-hour revolving door. When you put it in, is when, within 24 hours, that that's going to go away, but your next okay. one will pop up. They watch that one, they won't see that one again unless they've seen it, find you in that lower list, and then they can watch your whole story again. I like it. I think it's fun because sometimes I start like singing in my car and I've been wanting to show people <laughs> so I do record myself singing crazy. <laughs> they get to know you and that's a great thing. You know, people get to know you like you. <clears throat> yeah, singing. <laughs> I have fun. <laughs> but having fun. I say you scare them away. <laughs> but that's what Snapchat's about. Like, Follow Kevin Hart because he makes me laugh like every day. He says a lot, but he's hilarious. He can be in different ways. Now you can be giving nutrition tips or fitness tips, or it can be, you know, can be. Okay, so who else has a question? Snapchat question. Anybody? Yo, James. Yeah. All right, uh, Snapchats are, are only 10 seconds, right? They're not any longer? Correct. Okay, all right, yeah, I gotta get with the times then. I'm, I'm, I feel behind on this social media stuff just because I don't have Snapchat. So what are the top two or three things maybe that you notice um, catch people's attention? Um, when, when you post, do you post about cooking? Do you post about your life? What are the top two or three things that really you notice people give the most feedback on? Um, you know, and I think that goes back to who your audience is um, and, and tuning into what are the number one questions that people ask you um, or they contact you with. Um, so that is, that is absolutely key is who do you want your target audience to be and what kind of value do you want to provide them? Um, I would say that the post that, that I receive most feedback or you know you, you can snap it and chat back the most the most content that I get chats from are um, when I provide value on nutrition and that's simply for my audience and and you know that's how I've been when I've asked, asked people to add me on snapchat is to receive tips on nutrition you know um, fitness and just you know, mind body soul and so that's specific for for me in my case all right cool thanks david it's the same way I hope that answers your question it's, it's who you're looking to attract so like you know so right. what you're wanting to give out what you're interested in what you're looking to watch that would be you know probably something that you would be posting so because you're better you know like you so um i had a question how do you have your followers other than posting on Facebook to bring them over, how do you how do you get followers? Okay, I've gotten followers. Um, it's really mostly off of, of Facebook. Um, I've also posted on Instagram. Um, the same thing. How I I downloaded a story and then I uploaded it to uh, Instagram, and I they've I've I've had it I've got an ad specifically from Instagram as well. Those are the two platforms that I that I use and usually stick to. Cool. Anybody else have any questions? I know Snapchat's new for a lot of us. I know I put it off for a long time, but it's you know, Gary Vee's who brought it to my attention. I think he has some he has uh, investment in it or something. I love the filters though. Like the filters are great. The geo filters and there's so much cool stuff. It's so much different because you can't comment or like on it. I mean, you can chat to the person, but there's no, that, right. that social media is gone. Like, how many likes did I get? How many comments did I get? So it's, it's pretty cool. Right, right. And a great thing about, and, and David, I, I do want to say a little bit more about your question. You seem like a pretty deep guy. Um, the fact that you said that, you know, you're working on that discipline, then that's something that, that you know, the, that's value that you can provide, like mindset. Um, 
on, on positive mindset and helping people out like that. So, you know, tune into what your strengths are and, and the type of value you're going to get and, and just pour that out to, to your followers. Um, and, and a great thing about Snapchat is that you can, you can also see who's watching your story. You know who's who's watching them. So you just scroll down and you see them. Um, you can do a lot of little tricks, like screenshot this if you want more info. You know, and then you add them and you send them a message. Hey, so you can really there's a lot of little um, things that you can do to to have people to build a relationship with people. Ultimately, that's 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 your focus. You're building relationships with people. So tell them to send you a chat. Tell them to like to comment. Um, a great thing about opening the platform for them to respond to you is that, you know, sometimes you can become like this, this brand for them. Um, or, you know, this, this like, wow, you know, she's doing so much, you know, as you're growing as a coach and by asking them to, by asking the question, by asking them to screenshot something, by asking them to, to send you a chat, then you're really becoming a person to them and personalizing the experience. Um, you're building a relationship with them, and that's definitely like what you want to do on any platform. It's social media. It's called social media for a reason, so let's be social on it to build relationships. Word. Thanks. Hey, hey, hey James, um, I, want, I wanted to add something to it, man. I, I think Steph has done a great job on this presentation, but I, I just wanted to add my two cents. You know, I, I said that I haven't uh, reached the level that Steph has, and um, I, I want to, I want to, and I've been looking at this and I'm going to tell you the really big thing that I love about Snapchat. And this is coming from a marketer's perspective. Okay. So uh, for all of you who are really into, into marketing and, and analytics and logic and whatnot, here's what I love about it. On, on Facebook, you know, Steph shared that only two to 3% of the people that are your friends actually see your posts. But, but here is, here's something that she did not mention. When you're on Facebook, I want you guys to think about how many times you check your Facebook status. Yeah, let, me, let me turn my camera on. Um, I, I want you to think about how many times you check your Facebook status per day. I mean, I will say I'm in like the 40 to 50 times per day range. I mean, it's, it's incredible. So during that 40 to 50 times, I want you to imagine that you, you have your phone and you're checking it and you're scrolling it for a quick, you know, 15 seconds to five minutes, depending on what you're doing. You know, are you at work or are you doing something else? And during that time, like so much information is flooding your head and you're, you're, you're taking it all in. And then sometime throughout the day, you're doing it again. And then sometime throughout the day, you're doing it again. So if, if I have a, something that I want to share with you, you know, a lot of us were making posts, like I did my workout, I drank my Shakeology, or maybe I had some business goals, I'm looking for some people I'm recruiting. Like it's so sporadic and I've got so many other people that are hitting you with messages before you actually connect the dots with what I'm trying to tell you. But with Snapchat, I really have your undevoted attention, your un, undivided, your undivided attention for as long as I stay interesting. You know, David, you know, we, we mentioned that these snaps are like 10 seconds apart. Well, they're really longer than that if you stay interesting. You can watch someone's post for two minutes and they have 20, 10 second tracks that you're just plugged into. You're just like, oh, I want to see the next one. I want to see the next one. I want to see the next one. And those 20, 20 chats are from one day. They're, they're from 24 hours, and you get to see it all in two minutes. So what I really love about Snapchat, and I, I don't see it on any other channels, is that you get more attention from your followers, more undivided attention. So in my head, if you really want to excel at Snapchat, then you have to do this. And you have to do this very well. You have to get people's attention long enough and be interesting enough to follow the next snap. One of the ways that I did that, and, and I can see myself doing it again, is by having a, a Snapchat uh, treasure hunt. So I, I had a contest, and if, if you had all of the answers, if you got all the answers, all the clues, 
then you got a prize. So throughout the day, I would give a clue. And I did it for five days. I did it for five days. Every day, I had like 10 snaps. And out of those 10 snaps, one of them had the clue. And then you had to get all five clues in order to get the prize. You know, so I wanted, I wanted to keep you vested. I wanted to keep you following along. You know, so I, I gave people a worksheet. You know, it was just a simple PDF, uh, uh, JPEG on Facebook. And then I started giving the clues. So um, I, I just wanted to add that because I, I see Snapchat for that. You get people's attention for as long as you stay interesting. It's not about one, one, one little snap. It's about connecting 10 of them. So you, you really want to be a little bit strategic about it. And you want to say, okay, you know what? If I were to write a book or a page or a short story, how do I take that short story and, and stretch it out, 10 snaps? You know, so when someone sees it, you know, they're clicking. They want to see what's happening next. What's happening next? What's happening next? So, um. Anyhow, I, I just felt like I should share that. No, no that was golden. Appreciate that. That's uh, what we'll do is, you know, Gary Vaynerchuk, I want to watch this because, you know, a lot of people, you, 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 you're you drawn into it and you want to see what it is. So that's so true. That if seconds, it, can be, it can be as long as you're interesting. Awesome, guys. Anybody else have any other questions or anything uh, that we can, you know, three of us or anybody can help here? With uh, with Snapchat or or your business or questions or anything that while we're here, if it's good, we'll see everybody at Summit, July twenty eighth to thirty. We can talk about that, but Summit, we should do like a big get together, Snapchat get together. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you guys are in, in no more questions, um, guys, thanks thanks for. Your team jumping on and joining our call tonight, and Steph and Ray, thank you for all the value you guys gave. I'm gonna post, I'll post this recording to YouTube, so I'll share that link, and I'm gonna share, I'll post a picture. Everybody go tag themselves in this picture, and let's go and get get on that roll. Um, anything else? We good? All right, guys. Well, let's go. Wait. Well, let's help as many people as we possibly can, guys. And thank you guys for having. We'll see you guys. Nice to guys. Nice to meet you. Have a good night. All right. Get to snapping. That's right. <laughs>